outback, outback Australia. I'm going outback, outback Australia. I'm going outback, outback Australia. Good day, everyone. Back again with another episode. Look, um, had the, the chance to speak to KJ recently. That's uh, Belinda and Kevin's eldest son. And I am del absolutely delighted now to introduce Cha Cha, um, the only girl, apart from Mum, of course, the only girl of the group. And Cha Cha, how old are you? Nine. Nine years of age. So you're two years younger than KJ. KKJ. Right. So at nine years of age, you're going on this massive adventure. How do you feel about it? I feel really good because there's going to be a lot of things to learn and it's really fun. So are you sorry about losing your friends and leaving your friends behind or? Yeah, but we can catch up, but it's but off my mind because we've just been, when we sing it's all my friends are just behind me and I've got other things in front. So tell me Cha Cha, what things interest you the most? Yeah, I know you, you play music though, don't you? Yeah. You told me about this before. So tell me about your music. You play... Trumpet. Tr I play trumpet, yeah. Piano. Yeah. That's all. They're just the two. Yeah. But you're very good with the piano. You were telling me yes. how you learned. So how did you learn your chords on your piano? You were telling um, me this. I had to go to lessons. Yeah. Because I had no idea how to do it. So how long have you been playing piano? About only two years. Only two years? Yeah. Well, that's a long time when you're nine though, isn't it? It means yeah. you started when you were seven. Yeah. Are you pretty good at it? Yeah, I'm pretty good now. Yeah, okay. Do you sing as well? Or yes. you, Or are you starting to sing? I pretty much always sing. Okay. So you're doing homeschooling? Yes. And how do you feel about doing homeschooling? It actually is a bit hard because the teachers in our caravan are a bit strict. <laughs> Who's the teacher in your caravan? Probably Dad. Probably Dad, okay. And he's a strict teacher, is he? Well, not always, only just like for maths. <laughs> strict on the maths, yeah. okay. So how do you feel about having to do schooling with two brothers, one older and one younger brother? That must be tough. Yeah, it is because we're all over the place. Well, at different levels, you mean? Learning different yeah. things? Yeah. It can get quite noisy. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, not, not at all surprised. You managed to get that uh, that middle bump too, didn't you? Being yeah. you're the middle child mm -hmm. and the only girl. Yeah. It's well, kind of... I do have two sisters. Right. You've got two older sisters, but yeah. they're not on tour with yeah, you. They're, not. they're actually still at home. Yeah. But do you talk to them on your, on your computer as well? Yeah, we actually FaceTimed them yesterday. Yeah? And how do they feel about you going on this trip? They're very excited for us. Yeah. You are an excited girl, aren't you? You get excited yeah. very easy. Yeah. So to, what would you say to other boys and girls of your age that are, if they got the opportunity to do what you're doing, what would you say to them? I would probably say just if you're out here, you have to, you have, to have a lot of fun. Not just work all the time, just sometimes be a little free and have fun, pretty much. What are you looking forward to seeing? Um, probably, probably seeing maybe like my cousins on tour because they might be catching up with us. Oh, okay. But there are lots of places you're going to I know yeah. you've just been to Bribey and seen Bribey for the yeah, first time, Bribey really Island. Fun. You really like that. Yeah. And you went to the local historical village this morning, is that right? Yeah. And you've done the Caboolture Market. So you're seeing a bit about this local area before you even start yeah. the big trip. And mum and dad did their tow ed course. Yes. Yeah, and you guys were on your push bikes and yeah. so you're watching a little bit, bit of that as well. Yeah. But there are places you're gonna go and see. KJ was, said he's keen to see Uluru. Yeah, we've never actually gone there, so it would be very, very fun if we went there. And you're looking at seeing Aboriginal things and all the Aboriginal artworks and that sort of stuff? Yeah, I'm really excited to see those. We've seen some, but not all. So, I know this is a hard one, Cha Cha, but when you grow up, what do you think you're going to want to do? What do you want to be? Uh, 
cafe. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Well, I've always like because whenever my because we were living with my pa when we were about to go on tour. Um. He's been hurting himself and getting cuts, and I've been helping him. And he's like, you would be a very good nurse when you're older. Oh. So I've been thinking about that, but not that much, but just a little bit. And you've done some video work on, mm -hmm. on Dad's videos, and you've yeah. been in some of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, was that fun and exciting as well? Yeah, it was. Because I could see you becoming an actress. Yeah, that's what uh, my dad was talking about. Is that? I reckon you'd make a really fabulous actor. I, I mean, look at those curls, look at that face. What a beautiful girl. Nine years of age, about to go on one of the most exciting adventures you could ever do, and you're absolutely bursting to get up there and do it. Yeah. And you're loving spending this time with mum and dad as well, even though dad's a bit of a hard taskmaster in the teaching side, but <laughs> that's not bad. Yeah. And what's mum like as a teacher? Well, she's... She's a good cop. <laughs> she's, a, she's a good cop. Okay, yeah. so they don't play good cop, bad cop. Well, dad probably a bad cop, mum probably a good cop. Good cop. Yeah, because one thing a lot of people don't know is that actually both mum and dad were policemen, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah, so they brought that, they brought that home. Mm -hmm. Listen, in a few months' time when you finish this journey, you're going to be, I don't know, six inches taller. Probably. Probably. Um, and you're going to have all this information that you've learned from your trip. Yeah. Um, and we're going to get you back again and you're going to tell the people what a, an adventure and whether or not you liked it and whether or not you really still think that people, young people like yourself, should go out and do it. What do you think about that? Yeah, I you'd, probably will. You'll do that? Yeah. All right. Listen, um, Cha Cha, it's been absolutely delightful to have you here. Mm -hmm. um, guys, I... What can I say? It's, a, it's an absolute pleasure to sit here and talk to such a delightful young lady. Thanks, Cha-Cha, and we'll see you soon, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Bye.